When I first saw the pits, I had absolutely no idea what they are, but I was uh, intrigued in how it fits to the nature of the uh, of the park and how I went to learn that this park has been there since the Olympic Games in London. Okay. Um, I know nothing about the piece, but if it was to evoke anything, maybe the human form, maybe maybe a dancer or an athlete if it links to the Olympic Games, maybe it's about the wildlife and nature and expression. <laughs> you see, I mean, I like them. They're beautiful. They're stunning. I've been here about a year. The ball. So, um, I think that looks like a giant emu, and we decided that that looks like someone. What was it? What was it, Sam? Definition of being up your own ass. Definition of being up your own ass. But I would say I do jog around here, and whenever I see that, yeah. um, I just. Been Sitting here by a reason so I don't care. Well, they are pieces. Um, first of all, I've got a comment about the one over, over to my right. Um, to me, it looks cross between a dancer and a swan. Um, it's, it's a unique piece that I haven't actually come across before, but in my mind, that's what it says to me. Um, when looking at this one here, um, in my opinion, it gives the feeling almost of like a rhino. Again, a very beautiful piece. Um, tends to sit very near to this piece. Um, it helps me reflect. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who did them. Maybe some kind of plaque would be nice, and we could see who, who did it. That'd be good. Play with my fucking So we can walk past these probably twice a day. Not sure what they are. That one looks a bit like a unicorn, I think. Um, but yeah, they're, they're absolutely useful. Glad that they've stayed around. Uh, they really kind of make this part of the park. <laughs>